You'll see this ravine. 26 years later. This goes back to Cool Creek. The memories are still fresh. This is the area where most of the intact bones were found. It's history Robert Graves lives with. When we first got here, we decided that we were kind of trying to put all this behind us, but you, you can't get away from it. It's, it's always that place. He moved into the Fox Hollow farm 15 years ago, but in 1996, it was the home of Herb Baumeister, who allegedly killed dozens of men and left their remains on the property. This is where it happened. Remains graves still uncovers to this day. We don't go looking for them, but they do turn up. Um, and I take him to the University of Minneapolis. We will have to conduct a very large scale investigation in which DNA profiling is attempted on all of those samples um, because we have an open population. So we are unsure exactly how many people are represented. Forensic teams from the University of Indianapolis were searching these woods for weeks back in 1996 behind the home of then owner Herb Baumeister. And they're excited there's a renewed interest in trying to find the identity of the remaining victims. We do have um, an estimated 10,000 samples that, that need to be addressed here. They need the victims' family members to come forward. We have more unidentified human remains cases in the state of Indiana than we have ref family reference samples. Wow. So that means in general, not just from 26 years ago. I think it's a, it's a good thing. Um, there's certainly a lot of families that don't have answers. And they're hoping these new efforts produce just that. In Hamilton County, John Duran, 13 News.